Fifth graders, if you're watching this, it's because you were struggling with the Lesson 12 exit ticket. So let's watch it together, or go through it together, okay? Number one, use estimation to choose the correct value for each expression. Okay, estimation. Estimation is a little bit rounding and a little bit just nudging the number where you want it to go. Okay, so if we're looking at this first problem, 5 and 1 tenth times 2, wouldn't it just be a lot easier to look at that as 5 times 2? And 5 times 2, you know, is 10. Okay, so does this number look like 10? Does this look number, number look like 10? Does this look number, number look like 10? Or this one? This one is the closest. Okay, so there's our estimation. Two times, 5 times 2 is 10. So using our estimation, we can gather that that is the right answer. Let's try the next one. This time I am going to use a little bit of rounding. I'm going to round to the nearest whole number. So the nearest whole number would be 9. 4 times 9 equals 36. That's a math fact, pretty simple. And the closest number to 36 is going to be, well, is it 3 and 572 thousandths? No. Is it 35 and 72 hundredths? Possibly. Okay. 357 hundredths and 2 tenths? Or 357? 100? 350. Ugh, sorry. 350. 7 and 2 tenths, oh, that's too big, and 3,572 is way too big, okay? So estimation. Estimate the answer for 7 and 13 hundredths times 6. Okay, explain your reasoning using words, pictures, or numbers. So what we're going to do is 7 and 13 hundredths times 6. Okay, well let's just estimate that as 7 times 6 equals 42. Okay, that is a perfectly good estimated answer. Let's uh, dig in a little bit more. Using words, explain. Let's say I rounded seven and thirteen hundredths down to seven holes, right? Or seven ones. I'll just say seven ones. Okay. Seven times six. Ah, oh, I should be consistent. I'm sorry. Six equals 42. 42 is my estimate. And I, I am going to spell that out because if I made that whole sentence and I spelled out every number, 40, two. Okay, there. Okay. So I'll use some words, I could use some pictures. Let's say I've got, or I could just solve the problem. Right? Okay, you didn't have to solve the problem though. 42 was a good enough estimate. If you guessed 43, I would say you weren't estimating. I don't know what you would be doing if you got 43. But math facts, super important. Okay, thank you.